So it's not Jonathan Broxton, it's Corey Wade to pitch to Pat Burrow. Joe Torrey telling us before the game that Wade will go one inning max. Burrow could tie this with one swing. He's hit three postseason home runs this year. He's hit 33 during the regular season. So with one swing, he can even it here in the eighth. Pop up, shallow right. Baroa is out for out number one. That's driven down into the right field corner. This ball is gone for a game tying two run home run. Shane Victorino is tied it at five. has been in the middle of everything for the Phillies a breaking ball that Victorino goes down again. he had 14 homers during the regular season none bigger than that one Wow so Charlie Manuel makes the change puts him in the number six spot and he hits a game tying two run home run here in the eighth Pedro Feliz now lines one into left field and Ramirez is there for out number two and the question will be asked of Joe Torre why Wade here in this inning and not Broxton with an off day tomorrow Broxton worked two innings last night but he trusted Wade who started the year in double A. In the bottom of this eighth inning it'll be the top of the order for the Dodgers as Ruiz gets a base hit and the go ahead run is on for Philadelphia. Matt Stairs has come into the on deck circle and it looks like he'll step in and hit for Madsen. What a second half what a postseason it's been for Shane Victorino. He's been in the heart of all the action for the Phillies. He ties it here in the eighth inning with a two run home run and now Jonathan Broxton takes over. He pitched in last night's game through one inning allowed a hit. Had a strikeout through only 14 pitches last night. And he pours a 96 mile an hour fastball into Matt Stairs. So far 0 for 2 this postseason with Philadelphia. Veteran left handed hitter. The 0 1. One ball, one strike. So Broxton was left in the bullpen when Wade came on. Wade got Burl on a pop up, but could not retire Victorino. Now Broxton's in the game after two more hitters and a 1 1 pitch. Two and one. Broxton more inclined to go after Matt Stairs with Jimmy Rollins on deck. Always go after the pinch hitter, not the regular, if you have the option. Go ahead, run it first for Philadelphia. Two out and a two one. Outside, three and one. Again, it'll be the top of the order for the Dodgers in the bottom of this eighth. That means for Call, Ethier, and Manny Ramirez. Stairs rips one into the night, deep into right, way out of here. And Philadelphia gets a pinch hit, two run shot, and the Phillies lead seven to five in the eighth. A 
added to this team by Pat Gillick from the Toronto Blue Jays, and he hits the first home run off Broxton since July of 2006. Mm -hmm. Fastball right down the pipe, and did he ever get all of it? Broxton fell behind, had to come in, and stairs devoured it. Oh. Two hundred fifty four career home runs for Matt Stairs. That was the biggest. His first in the postseason and now Philadelphia leads by two. Here's the 0 2 to Rollins. Checked his swing ball one. Boy, a devastating turn of events here in the eighth inning. The two run shot by Victorino to tie it, and Matt Stairs with a two run homer. Neither were cheap. The one two. Two and two. The inning started with a hit by Ryan Howard against Quo. Wade came in, got Burl, Victorino went deep. Feliz lined out. Ruiz got a base hit again. Another big hit for this Philadelphia club to extend the inning. And then Matt Stairs off the bench with a two run massive home run to right. Three two pitch Jimmy Rollins takes ball four in this eighth inning top half of it continues. Jonathan Broxton not unlike a lot of short relievers he does not have a good move to first base plus he throws a very heavy ball. So when Russell Martin has to cope with that heavy ball it's very difficult to get in a good throwing position. Jimmy Rollins in an ideal steal situation right here. Playing with house money. I mentioned the last home run hit here at Dodger Stadium off. Jonathan Broxton was 2006 hit by Mike Cameron. Actually originally said period. First home run hit here at home since 2006 and stairs just drilled it into right. Broxton gave up two home runs overall during the season. The Burger King hot zone for Jason Worth, who has been planted into that number two spot into the lineup. Here's the 1 0. -oh. 2 0, -oh, and there's no doubt that a home run like that would rattle any pitcher. Broxton followed the home run with a walk, and now he's behind on the count to Jimmy Rollins, or rather, Worth after the walk to Rollins. Just shocking. There goes Rollins got a good jump and steals second easily. Not only a good jump but stole on the right pitch a slider.
now a hit adds to the lead which is two seven to five in the eighth. Breaking ball is fouled out of play off to the right two and two. Now Greg Maddox gets loose for the Dodgers. Worth is the eighth man to bat in the inning and the crowd tries to get back in it. I think almost everybody thinking that harmless hit by Carlos Ruiz to get Matt Stairs to the plate. And then Broxton falling behind and Stairs looking for the fastball got it and drilled it. Now the 2 2. We've talked throughout this series about the excellent bullpen for the Phillies and the fact that now through the postseason they're 84 and 0 when they lead after eight. They have just regained the lead here in the top of the eighth. Top of the order will bat for the Dodgers in the bottom of this inning. The 2 2. Takes third as Worth strikes out. Two two run home runs in the eighth for Philadelphia. Victorino tied it. And ahead in the count, Matt Stairs hit a blast to right. Phillies are having a blast, leading by two into the bottom of the eighth. <laughs> 